Well, economics really begins with uh, the concept of scarcity and choice. The, uh, we hear a lot of, a lot of material, a lot of, a lot of writings in the press uh, by uh, sociologists and belletrists and other such low types, uh, and low type intellectuals, that we are now living in a post-scarcity age, and that maybe in the 19th century there was, a, there was such a thing as economics. 19th century there was economics and there was prices and things like that. You had to worry about things like supply and demand. <clears throat> uh, but now in the 20th century, uh, especially in 19, post-1970, we now live in a post-scarcity age. We don't have to worry about such a thing as scarcity. And now there isn't any more economics. <clears throat> well, the first, uh, the first thing that the economist, any economist is trained to think in terms of is that this is a lot of nonsense because uh, everything is scarce. If it wasn't scarce, it was a very, very good test, I think, to when something is scarce or not, when resources are scarce or not. Uh, if it wasn't scarce, then everything would be free. Uh, and not only free, but immediate, instantaneous at hand. The, uh, I, I like to call the Garden of Eden model. <coughs> uh, the Garden of Eden model is essentially that if you, as soon as you wish for something, it's right there. Uh, as soon as you wish for the bottle of Pepsi, it's trickling down your throat. There's no effort or investment of resources in, any, in anybody's part. Uh, now we obviously are not in that kind of situation. We never will be in that sort of situation. And uh, <clears throat> if we were in any, in any way approximating that situation, we would be, uh, uh, we would be uh, in a state where everything was more or less almost free, let's say. I mean, Cadillac would be selling as a nickel. As an approximate. And when we get to the stage when Cadillacs are a nickel or uh, Pepsi is trickling down your throat at your wish, then we can think about revising or scrapping economics and going on to the more utopian uh, post scarcity future. Uh, the, uh, I use this, the, a ploy in, in debate, a very good debating uh, tactic, uh, against a, a post scarcity type a couple of years ago, and I said, uh, if you really, if we really lived in a world with post-scarcity, and all you people were talking about post-scarcity would be burning your salary checks, because there's no point in having a salary, because everything is free, etc. And the, my opponent shot back with a statement, well, since we live in a, you know, we, we still live in an evil uh, capitalist world where everybody's brainwashed by capitalism, and therefore he, <laughs> they haven't gotten to the point yet where they can throw off the shackle. Well, that's, I think, seems to me obvious, uh, <coughs> Obviously, evading the point that everything is scarce. 